talk with Jordan about the penalty that was called <laughs> after all that? I mean, um, it didn't look like you were trying to do anything there, were you? No, not at all. At least nothing malicious. Um, I was really just trying to get over him sliding into my legs. But, um, of course, the ref didn't see it that way. Um, I said little words to him when he stood up and tried to say little words to me after that little hit. But um, uh, it's still all love between us. Uh, nothing He knows nothing malicious on my part. Hopefully, when this this, this fine letter comes, he takes care of it. But uh, that'll be a different conversation. So, um, but yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing ill will. What was it like being back in Lambeau in general? It was it was a, a cool experience to be able to go back. Definitely felt weird, um, especially being there on a two day trip. Um, be able to see some of my old old teammates, old coaching staff over there. Um, it was a cool environment, but um, definitely wish we could, we could have came out on the better side of things. Um, obviously, that didn't happen, but um, all in all, it was a cool little experience to be able to go back. You've been through what you went through yesterday before in terms of Kaiser going down and having to play a lot more snaps. Is it? I mean, is that just what you do now in terms of like as a player, I have to step up and this is what it is? Yeah, I mean, I've learned to maximize my role, whatever that might be, whether it's um, being a backup, being the guy that has to go in there for a green dot, whether it's special teams, whatever that might be, I've learned to try to maximize that. Um, obviously, there's I left some plays on the field last uh, or yesterday, um, and could did a better job as well on my part. Um, but yeah, I, I try to be able to stay prepared as much as possible, and that's something, something we preach here as well. Um, whether it's myself, whether it's my room or a different room, I think we all are prepared to go in there whenever our name is called and uh, do what's done, do what needs to be done to get the job done. Whether it's physical changes or maybe how you're calling the plays, communicating, are there things you learned from that experience last year that? You worked on this offseason earlier that felt different and maybe better yesterday? Yeah, most definitely. I think more so just a mental aspect on the way I prepare for things. Um, going to the week, of course, not knowing that I'm going to be playing, let, let alone playing majority of the, of the game. Um, I have a certain role that I try to maximize with my uh, situation that they had me go in for, um, but still learning both um, Mike, Will, whatever, whatever position is available in a room. Um, so yeah, keeping myself mentally prepared to go in for the game, that's something I, I think I did a better job of this year, um, trying just to stay ahead of what's to come, because you know, it's a long season, injuries happen. I never wish them on anybody, but they, they do happen. So um, like I said, whenever my name is called, I just try to go out there and do what, I, do what I can to do my job. Taking over that green dot and then seeing all the different injuries start piling up on the defensive side of the ball, are you just kind of throwing your head back and saying, like, how, how does this keep on happening? I mean, it's tough. I mean, you never want to see your guys, plus the ones you've been going to battle with for so long, um, fight these injuries. So uh, for me, I just try to be the calm, the calmness of the group. Um, I don't want to let my anxiety or emotions go into the huddle, and that creates anxiety within everybody else too as well. So for myself, I just try to bring that calm nature to the huddle, uh, make sure I try to do my job at the highest level and let my play speak for itself within the other uh, the other 10 players. Um, and hopefully my, le my level of play can continue just to focus on um, what needs to be done within that play, the time of the situation, and uh, continue to lead this huddle. You, uh, you were part of some roster gymnastics at the end of the preseason. Mm -hmm. um, did you have a pretty good idea that that was how it was all going to work out? Is there any of that a surprise to you as you go through it, or do they pretty much let you kind of understand of why this is happening before it happens? I mean, yeah, that was a conversation that we had. Um, they let me know what the kind of the situation was, um, so I had full grasp of what was going on. Um, but yeah, that's just more so, uh, I guess, a business thing or whatever it was. But um, yeah, I have full understanding of what was going on. Are you preparing for all those different? roles in the linebacking court and helping and assisting a guy like Owen Papo within the second season? Yeah, I mean, that's not just myself assisting Owen either, though. It's the whole room in itself, the coaching staff. And I mean, we have a really good room with leadership between Kaiser White and Mac Wilson. So even if Kaiser wasn't or whatever the situation is, like during the game when he's not playing, he's still on the sideline. He's still out there helping me be prepared for certain calls, helping Owen be prepared for certain situations. So. I think we have a really close-knit room, um, and we are um, all trying to make sure that we all have success at a high level. So whatever needs to be done to do that, then um, we're all on the same page with that. What were the vibes like today in the, in the meeting room after that one? I mean, of course, it's never a good feeling coming to the meeting room after a loss, um, especially a loss like that where we kind of beat ourselves. And that's kind of the message that's kind of going around right now where you can't beat a team, let alone, let alone a good team, when uh, you're facing yourself pretty much all four quarters. So. For us, it's just kind of look, taking a hard look in the mirror, figuring out what we can improve on, um, the little things, the big things, and 
take a take a good hard look. Uh, we got a good week this week coming up against uh, the Chargers Monday Night Football. So we got to do what we can to be able to fix these little things. And I have faith that we have the right guys in this building to be able to make those adjustments and uh, move on from this game. This team was the least penalized going into that game and uncharacteristically having 13 for 100 yards, mm -hmm. having another day to sit on it or watch film. Are you able to put your finger on whether that was something Green Bay was doing, the weather, the preparation, just what was different when we haven't seen that, not even just this year, but even last year, really, under Dana? Yeah, um, I mean, look at the film, and even in the game, um, you could tell those were more self-inflicted wounds. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything that Green Bay did. Um, we knew they went into the game with hard count, with cadence and stuff like that too as well as far as the defensive side of the ball. But um, it's just something that we got to continue to harp on um, as a unit, be able to make sure we're all on the same page and um, we're aware of those type of situations that's supposed to happen in. Um, but yeah, I think it's just more so self-inflicted wounds. And um, we, like I said, they're, they're easily correctable. So we just got to do our job to make sure that uh, they, they don't pop up again. Football players are notoriously creatures of habit. So when you have a Monday night game, so you have an extra day of whatever in between, is it easily to to morph over to that, or is it does it feel a little weird when there's an extra day before the next game? I mean, it throws your schedule off a little bit, but um, I think we're so process driven here that we just continue to focus on what's the task ahead, um, whether that's an extra day off or maybe it's a short week and we have less time to prepare our bodies for the next upcoming game. I think we do a well job of um, doing what's needed to be done. Like that's that's the bottom line. And each week we take the task head on. Um, we focus on what's needed to be done. Um, and I'm excited to see what's what's going to happen this week. Is there any added level of energy when you know that it's a prime time matchup? I mean, of course. I mean, you know, you're the the only game on at night. Monday night football. That's something that we all dream of playing up, playing these games when we were little and seeing the games in college. I mean, this is. This is what the moments are made of. But um, to be honest, I mean, we're focused on ourselves right now, making sure that we come out ready to, to, to come, to, come to battle on Monday. So that's what our, our main focus is right now. Well, here in tape, what, what stood out to you when looking at how you guys defended the run yesterday? Um, I think, like I said, to begin with, when I started, it was just more so self-inflicted things. There's good things, there's good flashes that pop up throughout the tape where we know we can do it. Uh, then there's, there's plays where it's like maybe it's couple things here, a couple things there, and it's big gashes, explosive play. So for us to be able to minimize those explosive plays, it comes down to us making sure we're on our job and it comes down to all 11 being on the same page of where we're supposed to fit, where we're supposed to be aligned and that type of thing. But um, like I said, I have faith in this room to um, come together as a unit and make sure that we're all on the same page moving forward. What are your early impressions of this Chargers offense coming in? Uh, I haven't watched too much film uh, just yet, um, so I'll obviously take a deeper dive into it this week. Um, they have a good team over there, good run, run offense. Um, their defense are pretty good too as well, good front up there. So we're going to have our challenge up ahead Monday night. Um, but like I said earlier, the biggest thing is just focusing on what we have to do to make sure that we come in ready for this game and uh, come prepared. What is your mindset just heading into this week after you know coming off that loss? I know you guys did it after the Washington game, coming back and beating the Niners. Just what is it? that you guys focus in on to, you know, just get back into the win column? I mean, it's a long season. It's still early in the season. Um, I think that's one thing that we all have the same mindset in this building as far as uh, we know what our goal is and what we want to achieve as a team. Um, and having one loss or um, one bad game, one bad play doesn't really change that. Does it hurt? Yes. But um, in a sense, it doesn't change where we want to go and the process of where it takes to get there. So. For us, I think we we have, like I said, we have the guys in the building um, that will take that approach this upcoming week and for the rest of the season and uh, figure out what that needs to be, what what it takes need to be done. Um, and I'm excited to see what that uh, takes us. How long have you been competing against Justin Herbert? And what do you know about the quarterback? This will be my first time going against him. I played him once in college uh, when I was at UCLA. He was at Oregon. Um, heck of a quarterback, gunslinger, can do it all. So um, I know we have our challenge up ahead of us. But yeah, this will be my first time uh, with the matchup against him in the in the NFL.